The topic of this video is finding the domain of a function defined by an equation. To find the domain of a function defined by an equation, think about all the ways that you can break math, then avoid them. For example, in math, you cannot take an even root of a negative if you expect a real result. For example, the principal square root of negative 1 is i, which is not a real number. If a number is not negative, then it is positive or zero. So, once you see that you have an even index radical, make sure anything under it is greater than or equal to zero. Solving that inequality will help you determine your domain. And, if you do not remember what the word index means, index is the little number that sits right on top of the v part of a root. If no number is written, that number is a hidden 2 but it would be a 4 for a 4th root, a 6 for a 6th root, and so on. So if it's an even number, that means you're dealing with an even index radical. All right, next, you cannot take the logarithm of 0 or a negative number. We will learn about logarithms later on. Therefore, any log argument, the thing you're taking the log of, must be positive and therefore greater than 0. Solving that inequality will help you determine your domain. Next, you cannot divide by zero. Division by zero is undefined. So if you have any fractions, solve the inequality denominator is not equal to zero and let that help you determine your domain. Now that was a lot of math to talk about. Let's see if we can put this together succinctly in a way that's very, very easy to remember and follow. Putting these ideas together, we have the following structure for finding domain. Step one, Start with all real numbers in the world. Step two, if there are any even index radicals, then the thing underneath, which we call the radicand, must be greater than or equal to zero. Step three, any log arguments must be greater than zero. Step four, any denominators must be not equal to zero. We will use these four steps whenever attempting to find the domain of a function defined by an equation.